This is a screwdriver. It's very good for driving in screws. It's very bad uh, for dicing onions or helping someone to talk a suicide down from jumping off a ledge. Uh, does this mean that the screwdriver no longer exists? No. <laughs> does this mean that I believe that this screwdriver isn't here? No. It simply means that I understand that a screwdriver has certain uses and it is that it's quite good at, as in driving in or removing screws, and there's a few other issues. I use it to open cans of paint, etc. But it's not very good for other things. Um, it wouldn't help me at all in terms of planning a wedding or uh, uh, cooking up a pot of ratatouille. It's useless for that. Uh, but its uselessness in that regard does not abolish it. Um, at least in terms of utility. Uh, it's still the same thing it always was. Assuming, of course, identity is assumed. Now, <clears throat> the response that one tends to get from people uh, when making that kind of a case is often akin to a religious one. Um, Voltaire once famously quipped, I think it was Voltaire, if God did not exist, we would have to invent him. And he wasn't, uh, a lot of people took that as kind of a snarky, kind of uh, underhanded uh, confession of his own atheism. I don't think so. I think that uh, that if you look at, say, the Islamic world, um, God is the linchpin of absolutely everything. God puts the food on your table. God makes the sky remain blue and not turn yellow. Uh, God makes the laws of physics work. Uh, God breathes life into all of us, etc., etc. It's one of the biggest hurdles in terms of trying to bring a secular society into the Islamic world is the fact that the thinking is so suffused by theism. God is the linchpin of absolutely everything. And in order to remove God from, say, Saudi Arabian society, or at least place God in a manageable position, or what a Westerner would call a manageable position, uh, i.e. secularism, you have to fundamentally alter society in every conceivable way, because God is in everything. <laughs> Whether or not God exists is irrelevant. The reality of the situation is, in order to take God out, or even put God, as I say, in a manageable position, you have to rebuild Saudi society from the very beginning. <laughs> not an easy thing to do. Um, where That's one of the dilemmas of the postmodern age, the 21st century, is what do we do about the fact that one half of the planet is completely, apparently, gravitating away from any theistic notion of reality or cosmology, and the other half is doggedly clinging to that. Something's got to give. Same thing with people's response to logic. Um, it's almost as though people are scared. Does that scare you? Let's just say hypothetically that we can prove that logic is flawed or logic is limited or whatever. Let's just say we could do that. Just suspend the, the argument for a moment. Would that be so horrible? I don't think so. I, I want to see things for what they are. I'd rather not live in some kind of delusion. Um, to me, logic is based upon assumptions. Those assumptions are not truths. They're taken as self-evident. Yes, that's nice, but that doesn't make them truths just because we decide that they are. There's an admission in there as something that is taken as self-evident um, that uh, you've actually established a fact or that you have I actually <laughs> that you haven't established a fact. I have no argument for this, but we have to take this as self-evident and move from there. Um, I once had a conversation with a libertarian on that very uh, subject. We take these through these truths as self-evident, yada, yada, yada. Okay, that's nice. <laughs> what if you don't? The only response I ever get to that response is, to that objection is USOB, communist, totalitarian, scumbag, whatever. Which is fine. I understand that. You're essentially 
um, causing somebody's universe to dissolve when you question the fundamental axiom of everything. Um, some people uh, have arrived, I guess, at their atheistic position or whatever the position is through deduct deductive and inductive reasoning, which is okay. Um, now, <laughs> we're seeing that that's kind of assumption-based as well. Um, you know, it's it, it's a less crude kind of an assumption than, uh, than say, the various confessions of faith ma made in various uh, religions, but it's nonetheless just as much an assumption as anything else is. What is it that, that Muslims say? La ilaha la Muhammad Rasulullah, I think is the way it's pronounced. There is no God but God and Muhammad is his prophet. Okay, you have to say that before any of it makes sense. Because if you don't accept that, then well, that just wipes out the, <laughs> the validity of the Quran, even if you want to believe it, if you don't accept the first premise. Um, so you have to accept that or the whole thing collapses like a house of cards. And some people would say it is a house of cards, therefore. <laughs> um, I'm not going to go so far as to say that. Um, but it, it, it is an interesting response because it's, you know, you're doing the same thing to logic as other people have done to religion. Uh, you're just pointing out the flaws in, or should, maybe even not flaws, maybe just limitations. Um, the fact that this thing can't be used to slice a pizza, or at least very effectively, doesn't mean that it's necessarily flawed. It, what it means is that it's limited. It's designed to be limited, and in fact, it's very difficult to create a tool that will do absolutely everything. Um, I'm one of these people that's got no skill whatsoever in terms of being a handyman, but I'm constantly fiddling around with things because I like to do it. Um, but I've yet to see a tool that can do everything. <laughs> I can't, I, you know, I just, as I said, I built a shed, a shed uh, over the summer. I had to do a lot of measuring, I had to do a lot of cutting, drilling, driving in of screws, pounding in of nails, uh, lifting of things, etc., etc. I haven't found a tool that will do all of that at once. I have to have a whole assortment of tools because the various tools that I have are specialized and they're good for certain things, but they're not very good for others. Understanding what my tools are it does not abolish them. If logic won't get me uh, where I want to go, then I reach for a different tool for a different function. Um, but that's not the same thing as the abolition of my tools. I don't understand, well, perhaps I do understand, or I'm trying to understand why people can't see it that way. Um, as I say, it, it may be a fear response, I suppose it could be arrogance. Um, I'm, I'm an extremely arrogant person myself, so it's not as though it's something that I can fault other people for. But it is an interesting thing to get into, to see the, um, the objections that are raised when you start questioning people's sacred cows. Whether we like it or not, logic can be a matter of faith. 